Now, it takes real guts to perform on this stage. After all, it's not easy to put yourself forward for an audition. You just have to watch any of those TV talent shows and you'll know what I mean. But you don't have to be able to act, sing or dance to make it big, as Sadie Nine discovered when she met some rather unusual hopefuls at a very special audition. So what do you do? What do you do? I'm an actress, slash dancer, slash singer. And have you always wanted to run away with the circus? I've always wanted to run away with the circus, absolutely, thoroughly. Can I ask you, Cassie, is this your normal attire? This is, whenever I go out, this is what I wear. We're genuinely looking for at least one, if not two people, to join the Circus of Horrors. So it's a great opportunity for you all. It's a great show. Over 50 people have turned up to the Fairfield Halls in Croydon. Magicians, singers, dancers, and just plain show-offs. They all have one thing in common. They all want to give up the day job and join a circus. We need a really busty, gutsy girl singer. We always need a character like a, a weird gothic boy character. And we just look for that unusual speciality. In the suburbs of London, there's a lot of um, strange people. I've been asked to sit with the judges who, between them, have over 80 years' experience as circus promoter or performer. Yeah, that's quite a reasonable voice. Nice. Uh, yeah, uh, definitely, we'll probably talk to you later. All right, then. All right, thank you. That was all right. It's not, it's not an easy song. No, it's good, and you live locally. We'll definitely talk to you later. Thank you. Amongst the hopefuls is Jackie Phillips, an office worker from Croydon, who's looking to stretch herself that little bit further. I'll tell you one thing we'd like you to do. Yeah. Let's see if we can get in the bottle. All right, you're in that. Right, your head's in first, all right. Fitting yourself in this bottle's no mean feat when you realise it's only two and a half feet high and 18 inches in diameter. That's it. OK, I'll leave it at that. That's good. You, you definitely will be able to do it. I couldn't stop shaking. I'm still shaking now, actually. But uh, it's, yeah, I've always been a bit of an entertainer, so it kind of comes with the job, I suppose. <laughs> How do you do it? What, what, what's the logistics of it? Uh, there is a bit of a technique, but it's mainly, you have to be very, very flexible. You yeah. have to warm up. As you saw, the girl who we tried was, um, she could dislocate, so she yeah. should have been able to get in. And although she was tall, we've had taller girls in there. She was 5'10", you know. Yeah, but I've had six-foot girls in there, and I've had them in with the shoes on. What if they can't get out? Because, you know, you can wedge yourself in, but is it more difficult to get out? We did have one point where somebody did actually get stuck in there, and we did have to call the ambulance and take them to hospital inside the bottle. In the bottle? Yeah. And they, they had to sort of pry them out. OK, we've come to the end of the auditions. They've been coming through thick and fast all day. Let's find out what our judges, Jerry Cuttle, Dr Hayes, Gary Stretch, what do you think? Um, there's three on our short list. Uh, a girl called Chloe, a girl called Jackie, the one who almost got in the bottle, yeah. and a girl called Sarah. With the short list of three gems picked out, it's time for everyone else to head off back to the Croydon Job Centre. A lot of people want to be performers, and, you know, I, I, I was born here, and I actually ran away from home, from Cheve in Surrey, just down the road when I first started a long time ago. Um, but you really have to be determined to go into the circus. The circus of horrors is even another step. It can be very, very tough. Uh, we're often working between 15 and 18 hours a day. It does take its toll when you're doing, what, eight weeks at a time. So uh, if, you, if you are serious about this, don't think it's going to be an easy ride because it isn't. It's going to be hard work, but it's going to be good fun as well. It's been a week since the auditions, and one of the judges' favourites, Jackie Phillips, is back at her nine-to-five job, still wondering how she did. I got um, my standard job, which brings the money in to pay the rent, just office working. Hello, Admin. As much as I love working for my friends, I can't see myself working for them forever. <laughs> or until, you know, until I retire. It's always going to be something different. And if I got that chance, if the opportunity's there, then I'll take it. I'll, I'll grab it with both hands. Hello. How you doing, Hayes? You all right? You're joking. Oh, my God! <laughs> Jackie's been offered a part in tonight's show. It's a tryout and a chance for her to see if the circus life is really for her. Right, so for tonight, we've got another 
member of our cast, who's a local girl called Jackie, works in an office down the road, and she's decided to run away and join the circus. Hey. Come sing her a better one for the circus for us. Hey. Well, welcome, Jackie. I didn't go to drama school, but um, I have always loved performing in front of people. Unbelievably, Jackie now only has a few hours to learn a routine that will put her centre stage in front of a home crowd. Jackie is just being coached by Karina, who comes from the Moscow State Circus, and she sometimes goes in the bottle herself. So she's teaching her how to get into it, but more importantly, she's teaching her the pizzazz of presenting coming out of it. Well, it's one hour to curtain up. It's really exciting here. You can feel the atmosphere. It's tense. And Jackie is having her very, very unusual makeup done by Jeff. How are you, Jeff? Hi, how are you? I'm all right. What are you doing with Jackie? What have you made her up as? We're going to try and vamp her up a little bit, keep her, uh, still keep her looks, but just, you know, get her into horror mode. Because everybody on the, sh the show, nobody wears normal makeup. It's a real circus, isn't it? How yeah. everyone does everything. Absolutely, we all do everything. Everybody builds up, everybody pulls down, everybody drives the trucks, the transport. We do everything. It's curtain up, and Jackie's on in only 15 minutes. What advice will you give to Jackie? Um, don't hold back. Don't hold back anything. Give the whole lot out. Jackie has only a few seconds to exit the bottle and hit a musical cue to end the first act. But will she do it? She done well, didn't she? Jackie's performance persuades the circus to make her an offer. She's been asked to tour the UK with them, but does she want to do it? Due to work commitments, I can't just drop my job just like that, which is unfortunate, um, so I can't join them on the tour this time around. But it looks like I'll be able to do next year's, so, like, bye-bye, Croydon. <laughs>